Hey, Steve here, and in this video, I'm showing you a really quick and effective technique using Photoshop's curve adjustment layer to transform a flat colorless image into one that looks like it's glowing under a really nice post sunset dusky sky. So if you like this video, remember to hit that thumbs up button to let me know so that I can keep making more just like it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel so that YouTube will notify you every time I publish a new video. Now this will be quite a quick tutorial, so I'm going to show you just a couple of examples on two different images. And we're going to start off on this image that I took at sunset or just before sunset in uh, Bratislava. And yeah, it's pretty flat, you know, there's quite a sort of smoky, well, I'm not sure, I can't remember if it was like smoky or, you know, just hazy for, uh, you know, just general atmospheric conditions. But Anyway, the net result is it's quite a flat, sort of colorless, boring image. And so I'm just going to add a curves adjustment layer to totally turn this image around and so that you can see how to do it if you come up against the same issue. So first things first, let's add a curves adjustment. And now this is optional step. So depending on the image, you may want to leave this part out, but in order to sort of just change the contrast and uh, you know I just find it works well on this image what I'm going to do is just grab this bottom left point this uh, this shadow control point here in the bottom of the uh, curve and I'm just going to pull it up a bit and as I do that you see the shadows are just getting a bit brighter and it's reducing the contrast a bit and then we can do the opposite thing up in the top right and just drag that down a bit to bring the highlights down and then we're going to duck into the blue curve in this uh, drop down here and we're going to do the same thing so just going to push up a couple of notches in the uh, shadows this time we're going to come left on the highlights so we're not going down we're just going left nudging left a little bit and now green we're going to do the opposite of what we did in the blue channel so rather than go up on the green we're just going to come a touch to the right and that's adding a bit of magenta into the shadows and now we're going to pull this down in the top corner and you can see that gives that's starting to give a really nice kind of dusky color to the image and so if i just disable this layer now you can see the effect that's had and really that is the technique for changing the color uh, typical things that you might want to do next might be to darken the image so you can add another curves adjustment there and just darken to kind of really give it that kind of post sunset feel. Uh, if you wanted to kind of get a little bit more creative, we can mask this out from the middle here and you know start just bringing more attention through the middle of the shot. Actually, I've probably gone a bit too far there, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, and then you know we can add some contrast if we want to add some contrast back in so I'll just add another curves adjustment just add some contrast there just using a regular S curve um, alternatively we might want to add an autumn effect layer that tends to work quite nicely so I'll just quickly use my uh, panel to do that I've got a button that just runs the autumn effect um, if you want to see how to do that manually I've got a video on my channel showing you how to do that so let's just invert this to activate the uh, or to, to reveal the layer and now that's just added a nice bit of contrast and glow and so now with those three really quick adjustments let's have a look how far they've brought this image so here's before so pretty well it's not a very nice looking image it's got a bit of potential with the subject and the composition maybe but um, yeah here is with the three adjustment layers and that gives it a really sort of well to me, that becomes a much more interesting shot. So that's the first example. Let me just show you on another different image, uh, slightly different here, basically still a bit of a colorless shot. So again, it's just before sunset. This is up in Hallstatt in Austria. Um, yeah, not really much chance of a colorful sunset uh, for this image. So, you know, this was, I mean, the, the sun's gone down behind the mountain over here in the top right, and you can kind of tell that because that's where the brightest part of the image is. Uh, so let's just run through that curves adjustment technique to transform this image as well and give it a bit more interest in uh, terms of you know, that post sunset glow. So again, let's add a curves adjustment. This time I won't 
make those RGB curve adjustments, I'll just go straight into the blue and green channels. So starting with blue, let's push that shadow uh, control point up and then the highlights to the left a little bit. And then green, we'll bring the green towards the right in the shadows and the highlights just down a little bit. So that's quite subtle, but I find that just that very specific adjustment, uh, it kind of seeds the image with enough uh, of the right colors to just totally transform it for the rest of the workflow. So you'd want to do this at the start of your workflow. And then, uh, yeah, let's do what we did in the last example. Let's add a curves adjustment to darken the image now. So, you know, you can see the mountains and the sky really kind of having that nice glow about them now. Uh, we might want to, well, let's use a luminosity mask to mask this out of the shadows. So let's do the same thing again, but this time just quickly using the luminosity panel. I only want this adjustment to work in the highlights. So let's hit the one button there on the luminosity panel. Uh, if you're not familiar with what's going on here, you can just um, you know, use a regular layer mask, just brush into the layer mask to, uh, to mask this out of the foreground. Um, but here, let's now darken the image. So that is yeah, that's allowing us to darken those highlights without darkening the shadows as much. So yeah, again, let's let's make some further adjustments quickly. Um, let's add another curves adjustment. Let's see if we can use a global adjustment now and then just lift up the shadows. Uh, that, I don't like that. Let's just go and leave it around here. And then maybe an autumn effect layer. Let's try that just like we did last time. And that is way too strong. So let's bring the opacity down. And oh, well, let's invert the layer mask and use a white foreground to just brush this effect into the sky. So rather than brushing it out of everywhere else, we'll brush it into the sky. I think that can afford us a bit more opacity on this layer now. And there we go. That is the before and after on this. Um, something you might want to do, just looking at this now, um, you know, you can always go back and adjust the amounts of these uh, adjustments in the blue and green channels. So I think this image starts off quite blue. So let's take a bit of blue back out of there. Let's kind of reset that back to how it was nearly. Uh, and then green, let's see what happens if we just add a bit more magenta by just pushing those control points even further. So yeah, it's starting to get a bit, a bit dodgy. So I'll just put the greens back up. Um, but yeah, like I said, that initial curves adjustment right at the start before you do anything else. Yeah, even though it looks like a minor adjustment in this particular image, it kind of compounds by the time you start adding more contrast and doing different things uh, later on in the workflow. That color kind of, you know, it, it builds up and compounds so that by the time you get to the end of your workflow, it's, uh, it's going to have a really nice uh, effect. And so my uh, computer's just reminded me it's time to put the chicken in the oven. So that's a good time to sign this video off. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the technique and the quick tip. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you have a good image that it works really well on. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.